you are logged on to indiantimesdaily.com the only portal for global indians we broadcast news from india canada punjab and gujarat in english punjabi and gujarati languages and our portal and apps have a list of well established businesses and resources that every global indian needs i am drashti and today's headlines are in india the nda has finalized its seat sharing for bihar for the lok sabha polls and a pune woman has become the fastest asian to cycle the globe in punjab pm narendra modi will kick start nda's election campaign at gurdaspur on january 3rd and amazon has apologized to the sick community in canada pm justin trudeau has visited peacekeepers in mali and pm justin trudeau has called on china to release two detained canadians stay tuned to indiantimesdaily.com and i'll be back with all the news that's important for you from india canada and punjab For detailed news and business updates of the Indo-Canadian community, download the Indian Times Daily app. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are: The BJP and its Bihar allies have sealed the seat sharing arrangement for the Lok Sabha elections. BJP President Amit Shah announced that his party and JDU will contest 17 seats each, while the LJP will get the remaining 6. In an incredible feat, 20-year-old Pune woman Vedangi Kulkarni has become the fastest Asian to cycle the globe. Vedangi completed the 29000 km distance required to qualify as bicycling across the globe. She said that the 159 days spent pedaling up to 300 km a day in 14 countries had shown her the best and the worst of both herself and also the world. The Congress has won the Kolhapur Assembly by election in Jharkhand. Congress candidate Naman Bixal Kongari defeated the BJP candidate over 9000 votes. Kongari polled 40343 votes while the BJP candidate Basant Soreng managed to get 30685 votes. Rebuffing allegations that intolerance was rising in the country, Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh has said that no nation was so tolerant as India. 2 days earlier, actor Nasiruddin Shah had expressed concern over intolerance in the country while referring to the killing of a policeman in a mob violence triggered by Alice Cow Slaughter in Bulandshehar earlier this month. Congress President Rahul Gandhi has sent a strong message to the party leaders, workers and cadres after Karnataka cabinet reshuffle. He asserted that the anti-party activities would not be tolerated and anyone trying to harm the party would be strictly dealt with. The election commission will make a fresh push for electoral reforms with the government. This includes making filing a false declaration a ground for disqualification and putting a cap on expenditure by candidates in legislative council polls in the coming days. The Sabrimala foothills witnessed high drama on Sunday. This is after hundreds of devotees blocked paths and chased away a group of 11 women of menstruating age being escorted to the hill shrine by the police. A sharp drop in the minimum temperature has caused the air quality in Delhi NCR to turn severe. Delhi recorded the coldest morning on Sunday in December with the minimum temperature dropping to 3.7 degrees Celsius, but the Met predicted an increase in temperature over the next few days. India have been handed a major boost ahead of blockbuster Boxing Day test against Australia as all-rounder Ravindra Jadeja has been declared fit and is available for selection. The ongoing four matches series is currently locked at 1-1 with India winning the first match in Adelaide and host Australia taking the second in fourth. Actor Jisha Nayib's role in Zero as superstar Shah Rukh Khan's on-screen friend has gotten him applause from the audience and critics, but overall the film has received a mixed response. He says that people have become ruthless and sometimes hypocrites while receiving a film. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as news from Punjab and Canada follows. I was living my dream and had a happy life. One day, everything changed. I was overwhelmed with chronic pain and depression. 
and I was struggling to get my disability benefits. All I wanted was the assurance of my insurance company that I would get paid, but they didn't. We decided to approach a trusted law firm in the community. Thanks to Cotec Law. Not only did I get my long-term disability settlement in no time, I got my confidence back to carry on with life too. We are your trusted disability lawyers. At Cotec Law, we will fight to ensure that you get the benefits you deserve. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjabar. PM Narendra Modi will kickstart NDA's election campaign from a rally at Gurdaspur on January 3rd. The PMO is in process of finalizing details of the program, including the exact time when Modi will reach Gurdaspur and dignitaries who will accompany him. Amazon has tendered an apology to the Sikh community for inappropriate and offensive display of images of the Golden Temple on some toiletry listed for sale on its website. The company was reacting to the legal notice served by the SGPC on December 19. Punjab BJP President Shweth Malik had alleged that some Congress supporters wanted to attack him. The Congress supporters had tried to disrupt Malik's meeting in Jalandhar recently. Aam Aadmi Party rebel group led by MLA Sukhpal Khaira is set to float a new political party in the first week of January. Khaira said that a formal announcement regarding the structure of the new political party will be made around that time. The Vice-Chancellor of Baba Farid University of Health Sciences has approached the police against doctors at Guru Gobind Singh Medical College. He has accused the doctors of coercing patients to buy medicines from certain pharmacists and get tests done at particular private labs. The State Election Commission has rejected nomination papers of 27,800 candidates for the forthcoming panchayat elections scheduled to be held on December 13. As per official figures, 20,700 candidates for the post of punch are now out of frame. A baby boy was flushed down the toilet of a train in Amritsar recently. Miraculously, he has been recovered alive by sweepers cleaning the train. The baby is currently being treated at the Amritsar Civil Hospital. Doba village, which is known for its deiras and dargas, is witnessing a new trend. Several churches have sprung up in the area where tens of thousands of people from all faiths gather every Thursday and Sunday for the healing touch. Noted Punjabi singer Sidhu Mosewala's mother, Charan Kaur, is contesting the panchayat elections from Musa village in Mansa district. She is in the fray for the post of Sarpanch and is being backed by the ruling Congress. Punjab did very well to restrict Hyderabad from 125 for 0 to 240 for 7 at Stumps on first day of their Ranji Trophy match. Four of the six bowlers employed by Punjab picked up at least one wicket, but leg spinner Mayank Markande was the most successful. I'll be back. Stay logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Canada follows. Realize your ambition of becoming a doctor at All Saints University School of Medicine with small class sizes, affordable tuition and worldwide clinical clerkships. All Saints University brings a world of opportunity right to your feet. University and high school graduates are eligible for admission. To learn more, call us at 416-743-9222 or visit us at www.allsaintsuniversity.org. Welcome back to IndianTimesDaily.com and the top 10 headlines from Canada are PM Justin Trudeau has praised the work of hundreds of peacekeepers during a visit to Mali even as he defended his government's refusal to extend their mission. Trudeau also insisted that Canada's presence in Mali is helping the war-torn country to get back at a faster pace. PM Justin Trudeau for the first time publicly has called on China to release two detained Canadians. Meanwhile, opposition leader Andrew Scheer told that he believes Trudeau should pick up the telephone and appeal to Chinese President Xi Jinping directly. Convoys of trucks rolled slowly through Alberta and Saskatchewan as demonstrations in support of Canada's ailing oil and gas sector continue. 650 vehicles took part in the convoy that began on Trans-Canada Highway east of the city and continued west. Foreign Affairs Minister Christia Freeland has said that Canada will embark on a campaign to win the release of two citizens detained by China. Freeland said Canada is going to keep working with a broad group of allies to raise this issue. The Liberal government Senate representative has warned that the election of Andrew Scheer as PM would risk reverting the Senate to be dominated by a practice of party censorship. Ontario Senate Peter Harder is touting legislative changes to cement independence appointed by the PM. 
Thousands of Canadian residents forced to pay income tax in both Canada and the US could get some respite. Legislation has been tabled in the US that would exempt Americans living in countries like Canada from having to pay tax on income earned outside the US. The federal government reported more than 200 significant privacy breaches affecting the personal information of thousands of Canadians and businesses. Breaches range from misplaced student loan documents to outing confidential RCMP drug informants. As many as 6,000 people in St. John, New Brunswick could have had their personal information exposed. The city has announced that it was one of the dozens of municipalities affected by a data breach to its online parking ticket payment system. The Manitoba RCMP has warned about an online scam that's been tricking people into providing their Amazon login information into an unknown source. Mounty said that people are being sent order confirmation emails for items they never purchased. Thursday's windstorm was the worst that BC Hydro has seen in 20 years as strong gusts continued. Around 600,000 customers lost power in British Columbia Southwest because of the storm and 66,000 remained without power. This is the end of News Bulletin but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-Canadian businesses and resources from accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Immigration Terminal, the specialist for visitor visa, student visa, business immigration, family sponsorship, work permits, PNP programs, living caregivers and LMIA applications. Highly experienced in cases involving criminal or medical admissibility and previously refused or misrepresentation cases. Call 416-675-5666 in Ontario or 778-927-3455 in BC. Email us at info at immigrationterminal.ca. Immigration Terminal, right consultants, right future. Actor Ajay Devgan has urged people to recycle plastic as it will help in combating pollution. There are 5 trillion pieces of plastic in our oceans, that is 5 followed by 12 zeros. It's enough to circle the earth over 400 times. Beat plastic pollution, recycle plastic, the Singham actor tweeted on Saturday. In the past also, Ajay had shown his eco-friendly side. According to reports in 2013, he had invested in a state-of-the-art solar park in Gujarat. Lately, he appeared on Karan Johar's show, Coffee with Karan, with beloved wife Kajol and talked about their marriage. On the work front, he will be doing cameo role in upcoming Rohit Shetty flick, Simba, starring Ranveer Singh in the lead role. With due apologies to Amir, Shah Rukh and Salman, the biggest Khan superstar of India currently is Taimur Ali Khan. As he turned all of two on December 20th, his proud Peprazi Vari parents whisked him away to Africa, far away from the cameras which love him the way only a true star is loved. At two, little Tim is fully aware of his best camera angles. He calls out to the Peprazi who adores him and always ensure his comfort before clicking. What he wears and the random words that lisp off his lips become the trending topics of the day and the child loves every bit of the attention. In spite of all the media attention, Tamu remains blissfully uncorrupted. Yes, he loves the flash bulbs and the media attention, but he doesn't strike poses, not as yet. At two, Tamu is a force that the photographers cannot do without. According to Glam Shooters in Mumbai, a picture of Tamur fetches a higher price than that of Salman Khan and Tamur effortlessly lots over the below 5 brigade of star kids. His popularity exceeds that of Amir Khan's son Azad and Shah Rukh Sabram. Too young to understand how the media operates, Tamur may lose all the attention overnight without knowing why the photographers have disappeared. We must guard against a child's first heartbreak when he is no more the darling of the paparazzi. We all know how savagely Tamur's parents were trolled for naming their son after a cruel invader. Nothing that the original Tamur did can catch the cruelty of the trolls gunning for little Tamur's parents for their child's name. So let's all think only positive thoughts for the golden hour. Dear Tamur, Tim, Timmy, Tim Tim, may you shine brighter than both your parents. Pakistani actress Fawad Khan and Mahira Khan, who appeared in Bollywood films, recently reunited for their upcoming Pakistani film, The Legend of Maula Jatt. 
Mayra Khan shared the trailer on Twitter and captioned, Tere Sat Ke Jawa, Mere Ya Mola. Also, filmmaker Karan Johar, who has worked with Fawad in Edil Hai Mushkil, wrote, Fawad, this looks amazing. Congratulations and I'm sure it will be a massive success. In the trailer, you will get to see totally different avatar of Fawad Khan and Mahira Khan too, who is looking beautiful in simplistic avatar. The action-packed movie has a few glimpses of romance, which will leave you wanting for more. The movie is slated for a Heath release next year. Actress Kriti Sunon, who is currently spending quality time with her family in the Maldives, unleashed her adventurous side as she tried scuba diving there for the first time. My scuba diving experience and it was surreal. Missed you, Sumar Verma. I was comfortable only because you had done a major part of it for me. Helped me get rid of my fear of being underwater. My next is gonna be with you for sure. Kriti posted on Instagram along with photographs and videos that captured the moment. She was holidaying in the Maldives recently with her sister Nupur Sanon and family from where she shared multiple pictures and videos of her adventures. On the professional front, Kriti has four films lined up in a kitty for the coming year. She will be seen sharing the screen space with actor Karthik Aryan in the flick, Luka Chuppi. She will also be starring in Rohit Chugra's Arjun Patiala alongside Daljeet Dosanjh and Varun Sharma. The couple who first worked together in the 2014 film City Lights has been going strong for years but don't expect wedding bells anytime soon. Rajkumar Rao and Patraleka are one of the most open and long-standing couples in B-Town. Recently, they were spotted at Juhu, Mumbai. The couple is seen together in every B-Town events and also spending holidays together. Taking to Instagram, Rajkumar posted a really romantic picture of himself with Patrilekha. In the click, the couple can be seen joining their hands together with bright smiles on the face. The actor doesn't shy away from openly flaunting his relationship with fellow actress Patrilekha. Rajkumar Rao is currently cruising through Bollywood with success in both critically acclaimed and commercial films. On the work front, Rajkumar will be next seen in Made in China starring Moni Roy opposite him and the movie will release in August 2019. He also has Ek Ladki Ko Dekha To Aisa Laga starring Sonam Kapoor, Anil Kapoor and Johi Chawla. The movie is slated for release on February 1, 2019. A team of highly professional accountants, we deliver quality and immeasurable assistance to our clients. For Canada audit assistance and your business loans, the only name you can trust. A professional accountant always makes a difference. For more information, call us at 416-741-0801 or visit us at scansaccountants.com.